wanted to give you a quick update on the status of county services and county departments as it relates to providing services to our citizens during this COVID-19 response. Uh, county services and county departments are open for business. We have, however, somewhat modified the delivery of our services. And so I wanted to go through and update you on what that service delivery looks like now as we are in a state of emergency as we, in regards to COVID-19. Our Parks and Recreation Department, our Recreation Center is closed. So, um, and that's to help mitigate the spread. Uh, our parks, bathrooms, water fountains, and playground equipment, that is also closed. Just because we can't ensure that we have, they have been sanitized um, every time somebody touches it. So we have closed our restrooms at our parks, our water fountains, and our playgrounds. However, our trails and parks are still open. So for those individuals that want to go out and achieve some passive recreation, walk on the trails, things of that nature, they are still open to the public. We do ask that you practice social distancing, however. So if there is a large group of people that are there, we ask that you not congregate together, that you do achieve the social distancing that's requested with the six feet apart. But we certainly are leaving those parks open for people um, to go and enjoy those, those areas. Um, our libraries, they have, they have modified as far as their service delivery. We are opening our libraries from 10 a.m. until 12 p.m., or yes, 10 a.m. till 2 p.m., excuse me, for our students. And because our school systems have closed and they are doing remote learning and distance learning, uh, we do have some students that do not have internet access. So we are opening by appointment only to students to achieve that internet access and so they can complete their assignments. But that's by appointment only and it's grades six through 12. We ask that you contact one of the three branch lo lo locations, which is Statesville, Troutman, and Harmony to make an appointment if you need to use those facilities to accomplish that goal. Then at three, from three until five, we have those branch libraries that are available for individuals that have reserved uh, resource materials and library materials you can do that online or by calling. You can reserve those materials. We will pick those um, up for you, collect them for you, put them in a secure location for you to come between the hours of three and five to pick those up. So um, we are no longer open on the weekends. Our libraries are no longer open on weekends. It is Monday through Friday at those times that I listed. All of our other county departments, again, are open. What we are asking you to do though is contact us first before you come to one of our departments. Give us a call and see if we can provide those services that you need remotely. Uh, we have a lot of uh, ability through our internet and we can send you or email you applications, forms, things of that nature. Sometimes we can handle your request by telephone or if it's not a time sensitive request, we can mail you the form or mail you some information so we ask that you contact the respective department first by calling us, or you can send us an email, the information is located on our website, and see if we can provide that service to you remotely. If it is a service that you need to come in and receive in person, we're asking that that be done by appointment. And the reason for that is so we don't have a lot of people congregating in our lobbies and our public areas, so we can achieve the social distancing. So um, again, contact us if you need to come in for the service, you're still able to do that, but we ask that you do that by appointment. So I just wanna make sure that everybody understands we are still here, we are public servants to serve your needs, we are still here to help you and assist you, but we are doing that on a modified basis and trying to achieve all the, um, all the procedures that are in place to keep not just the citizens safe, but also our county employees safe. If you have questions, please contact us. Please check our website on a regular basis. Again, that's a wonderful resource of information. We have a, a running tab across the top of our website that you can connect directly to the Health Department website to get updates regarding COVID-19. Thank you for all your assistance and for working with us.